so morning all and we are out test ride and final test ride number two the LXR 380 tyres are nicely scrubbed in now we've done 12 miles on it just starting to scrub these in and just a quick look at that 380 if you're actually looking at it it's a very similar size to the LXR 125 very easy to maintain just to get in to check your coolant bottle oils in the sight glass at the side and very easy to check your brake levels on these on the rear and the front on this one we're going to get this out into traffic we're going to get the final test mileage up today because it is on its way to Sheffield and once it gets back it's down to me the obligatory clean and a coating of ACF 50 on it now obviously compared to the LXR 125 this sounds absolutely sweet has ABS as well and while we're waiting for the traffic I'm just going to sit here and just show you a few things on the bike mirrors as I said on the last video lovely and wide analog and digital display on this we've got 13.1 miles on the bike and all your telltales are off to the left but through the gearbox it is absolutely lovely very efficient gearbox on this just folds through those gears no clunking no pulling what I like to do, get it all the way up to 6th gear and then get the power on. And obviously 40 mile an hour road, so nice and steady. And position number 1 at the moment. We are going to swap positions in a while. And we're not going to do the dual carriageway today. We're going to do a slightly different route. Just for the final little bit. I'm going to do some urban on this. What's it like at slow speeds? Obviously as a sports bike you know it's going to uh, whiz around once it's been run in. So we are going to do a slightly different route today. Into the roundabout we go and we're going to go all the way round. And down by McDonald's. So if you happen to know Milton Keynes you know where we are. My favourite little roundabout. Brick Hill Roundabout. All right, into position three this time because I'm going to be folding round to the right. And obviously this lane goes straight on or it goes go right, so hence why I've got the right hand indicator on. And let's just see how many cars get it wrong if they're going for petrol or McDonald's. So right lane is straight down, left lane is straight down on McDonald's. And nine times out of ten you'll always get that car driver, oh right last minute, oh I need fuel. Nope, we're all good today. The amount of cut off going across there. So slightly different route today. We're going to get some urban in. But sitting at uh, six gear, nice steady. 30 mile an hour and just chugging along now the other thing with this you have to watch and let him try to get up the outside of me not happening get behind the amount to do that trying to get down the outside just to get a bit of speed on and obviously it's still 40 mile an hour down here I'm just slightly over the fact that I've got white van man just sat in there my back mirror I'm obviously observing what he's doing and once we clear the roundabout it's a 60 mile an hour road rev matching down through the box into fourth off the roundabout we go what is it corner like lovely and get the power on now obviously this little uh, LXR 380, and I call it I call it a little one. It is little compared to my 14. I'm going to sit at a nice steady 45, 46-ish. There goes white van man. Obviously 60 mile an hour road, but they absolutely hammer down this. And this road is prone for accidents. People trying to overtake. And obviously the lanes are quite wide on this. There is enough room to obviously get a car down the outside. But the amount of people that hammer down here at 70, 80 mile an hour and then go and overtake and then meet oncoming traffic. 
I tend to uh, obviously watch the mirrors, do my shoulder checks every now and then. And with these mirrors, you've got a great view of the road behind. So folding down again into fourth gear. Drop it down into third, get a bit of torque on the back wheel. Now it's wet roads, I am on new tyres, taking my time, but it does lean nicely. You wouldn't want to be uh, leaning the bike too far with damp conditions, slippery roads, all the rubbish on the roads as well, taking my time. But the one thing I do like about this little bit of route, there are lots of roundabouts, lots of little twisties. But obviously the conditions of roads in Milton Keynes, there's more potholes than there is tarmac at the moment. And the uh, council's idea of a patch repair, let's just chuck a bit of tarmac in the old, tamp it down with a, our tamping stick, that'll do. And the state of the roads are awful. I think the amount of money that we pay for uh, council tax and road tax, you do something about it. If you happen to live in Milton Keynes, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. I suppose it's the same all over the country. Obviously people are like, oh, temporary patch repair. Just get out and resurface the damn road, people, please. But potholes galore everywhere. But it's great for testing out the suspension. And the suspension on this lovely, mid to firm, as I like a suspension to be, I don't like soft suspension. But this 380 handles absolutely superbly. So 15.8 miles in, nearly got 16 on the clock, only a few more to do. Very happy with the performance of the bike, everything works as it should. And obviously if you watch the issues that we had with the first one, we couldn't get the ABS light off. So obviously uh, we ordered a second bike. I haven't got time to faff around trying to sort out ABS issues. Ordered the second bike, told the customer, not going to get your first bike, we've ordered the second one, we've ordered a replacement, and we are going to send you this one, hence why we are cramming the ride test mileage in and the PDIs and QCs all into about four days. This has become a priority one bike. But, job done. She is lovely. So, Customer's going to get this today, this is off to Sheffield. And for those that sort of say to me, oh, uh, we've seen a few of your videos, and uh, some of the bikes have no number plates on. Yes, simple reason being, the jackets that I wear have a little pouch in the back, which is where I put my trade plate. So we ride on trade plates a lot of the time. I have my own uh, trade plate for the garage which is in the middle of my back and I can feel it, so I know it's there. But it makes it easy for, obviously, PC Plod. Oh, the bike's got no number like that. Ah, he's got tray plate on, which means he is a test rider. So that's what uh, we normally do, guys. That's why you'll tend to see these uh, cars and bikes being ridden, and they've got that red and white plate. That means it's a trade plate. It means that uh, whoever's testing it, It's from a garage, or a car company, and they are doing demo ride, just covers us for any vehicle that we want to ride. So down in the town, a little bit of urban. And I was checking my mirrors, watching my space cushion, where is Mr. Bus going? Oh, he's not turning left then. There were two turn left. So a nice steady 30 through the town. What's she like at 30 mile an hour? Fifth gear, 3000 RPM, just poddling along. Absolutely lovely. And obviously the first LXR, we now sorted out the ABS issue. All down to a broken wire but we had to trace back through the uh, ABS loom to find it. That's been sorted. Happy days. 
So if you want an Alexa, we now have one that is prepped and ready to go that's got the ride mileage on it. So we can turn that around pretty darn quick for you. So if you want an LXR 380, speed to the guys at Eclipse. And I'm going to pop the link up today. That is down the bottom right. Website's down there, www.eclipsemotorcyclesnk.co.uk. Telephone number's there as well, 0908 643 603. Give the guys a call. And we've got Michigan's in, LXR's, LXS's, Titans, LXR 380, the Vogue 500 DS from Lonsin. We've got a shed load of bikes in, plus of course all the new and used bikes. Used bikes in at the moment. Video's due to go up soon. BMW R1200 oh, rode that yesterday, so the video's coming out. That was an amazing machine. We've got a Suzuki Bandit, that's coming up shortly. We've also got in a little Sinus 125. We bought ourselves in a little Sinus 125. Glorious little bike that is. So we've got quite a good selection of used bikes at the moment. Pulls through the box nice and effective. And once again, a nice steady 45 mile an hour. Very happy with the bike. So this is going to go back to the garage now, clean, give it a quick check, dry it off with the uh, blowers. And I tend to find if you are washing the bike, don't go straight to it with ACF 50. Make sure that you dry the bike thoroughly. Nothing worse than mixing ACF and water together. We tend to use blower. A bit like a leaf blower or like a large hair dryer just to blow the bike off put some hot air on the bike gets you into the engine and blow all that water out of everywhere we're going to go back round the roundabout round the dual carriageway one final time but she pulls lovely whack it through that six speed box and we're going to shift lanes. So you are thinking of cleaning the bike. Give it a wash. Snow foam it. Dry it off. Using a jet wash, keep your distance. Don't go right in with the jet washer uh, hammering away. Keep your jet wash at a distance. Blow it off, dry it off, microfiber it down. Then put your ACF 50 on. That will give you that coating of rust protection and then you should be doing it on every bike not just your Lexmodos but uh, your big brand bikes as well good thing to do chugging away watching out these roads are exceedingly damp and looking a bit oily today if you can see what I can see through my screen obviously it's not going to pick it up on the camera there's loads and loads of purple and uh, browny discoloration in the road and you know for a fact that is diesel and oil. So, heading back for that cup of coffee. If you enjoyed the video, comments down the bottom. How do you clean your bike? What products do you use? A lot of people use muck off. It's not bad stuff. I tend to use that as well, or snow foam use my cartridge when I'm at home. If you know I enjoyed the video, stick your thumbs up or two thumbs down as I say. And of course, hit that notification bell for the next video in the series and I've got quite a few this week. We're back into the riding full on at the moment. The 3.8 is all good. Off it goes to Gary in Sheffield. And until the next time, we're out on another ride test, which is probably going to be about half an hour. Once I've had my uh, obligatory, and everybody should know this by now, cup of coffee and a cigarette for breakfast. Until the next time, guys, be well, ride safe, and as always, it's a big goodbye from me.